Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to continue our discussion in calculator techniques. So this is calculator techniques part 4. So in this video, we're going to utilize the transparent Casio FX570 ES Plus second edition to solve algebra problems. So a tip lang guys, na bago kayo mag-proceed agad sa calculator techniques, so mas maigi or mas uh, maganda kung aralin nyo muna yung manual or step-by-step procedure sa pag-solve ng problem. So, yung mga calculator technique natin, guys, are derived from those fundamental concepts. So, hindi lang siya basta-basta calculator techniques. So, siya ay na-derive din based dun sa manual solutions natin. So, mas maganda kung manual muna, manual solution, and then you proceed to the calculator technique. So, mas maintindihan mo kung paano nag-work yung mga caltech natin if you know how to solve these problems manually. So, first problem, we have f of xy equals 4x raised to 4 minus 3xy squared plus 2xy plus 45x minus 10. So first, uh, on muna natin yung calculator natin. So this is the transparent Casio FX570 ES plus second edition. And after natin i-on, of course, ilagay natin yung equation. So 4, okay, press lang yung 4 and then alpha x. Okay, this button here, and then exponent raised to 4. Okay, navigate lang natin. Ayan, so minus 3x, so alpha x, y squared, so alpha y, so this is y, and then squared, this one here, this button. And then plus 2 alpha x, y, so alpha y, and then plus... 45 alpha x minus 10. So, this is our just function. So, basically, sa manual solution, you just substitute this value. So, f of 2, 3. So, basically, x is 2, y is 3. So, press lang natin yung CLC here. Okay, this button sa baba ng shift. So, press that. And then, it will ask you the value for x. So, first, uh, given, so you have 2, 3, so 2 equals, and then for y, that is 3. So basically, this is the value of that function, f of 2, 3, okay, given that uh, specific problem. So second, given, so press ulit yung CLC, and then input natin yung f of 0, 1. So 0 equals, and then 1 equals. So this is the value for that second uh, function. So, negative 10. And then for the third function, f of 5, negative 1, we have, cut lang natin, and then 5 equals negative, so this is negative, and then 1 equals, so that's 2,690. So, ganun lang kadali guys, so if you're solving a function using your transparent Casio FX570 ES+. Plus. Okay, so next problem tayo. So clear lang natin yung calculator. So shift and clear, number 9. And then clear all, you have number uh, 3 here. And then yes. Okay, AC. So next problem, we have find the difference of the roots in the equation. Y squared minus 11y plus 28 equals 0. So this is... A quadratic equation. So, manual solving niya guys is using the quadratic formula. But if you're going to use your calculator to solve this, punta lang tayo sa mode. So, pressing mode. And then, we have here number 5 equation. So, there are uh, 4 types of equation here. Number 1 is linear with 2 variables. And then, we have number 2 equation that is for 3 variables. And then, we have number 3 quadratic and then number 4 cubic. So hanggang tatlong variables lang yung kaya ng calculator natin. So as you can observe yung number 3 natin that's your quadratic. So ang placement ng coefficients natin is lahat sila nandun sa left side. So take note of those placements. So A coefficient of x squared, B coefficient of x and C is the constant. Okay, so press lang natin yung number 3. And then, input all the coefficients and constants. So, for y squared, ang coefficient niya is 1. So, equals. 
And then for y, ang coefficient niya is negative 11. So press negative here and then 11. So 1, 1. And then press equals to enter. And then the constant is 28. So press 2 and 8 here. And then press equals. And then just press equals. It will give you the first root. So x lang yung variable na dito. But of course, pwede mo namang pagpalitan yung mga variables. So variable lang naman yan. So first root is 7. Second root is 4. So find the difference of the roots in the equation. So basically, ipagsusubtract lang natin yung 7 and 4. So we have uh, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 or x sub 1 minus x sub 2. So walang specific na arrangement. So dalawa yung pwedeng difference natin dito. So it's either 7 minus 4 equals or 4 minus 7. So negative 3. So the answer is plus or minus 3. So that's the difference of the roots in this particular quadratic equation. So let's proceed now to the third problem. So given f of x equals 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7x minus 9 and g of x equals 4x squared minus 5x plus 3, determine f of g of negative x. So sa algebra natin, the way you solve this is using substitution of the value of that uh, specific point or specific value in the function. So input natin, just like what we did in the first problem, so 4 alpha x squared, okay? So 4 alpha x and then squared. So kung nagbilisan kayo guys, just pause the video or bagalan niyo yung... Um, speed ng video na to. So, i-pause nyo lang and then tingnan nyo kung saan ko pinipindot yung calculator. Okay. So, 4x squared minus 5 and then alpha x okay, plus 3. Plus 3. So, subject lang natin yung negative 6. So, press CLC here and then we'll ask the value for x. So, negative 6. And then this value I-store natin siya guys, no? Store lang natin to. So, i-store natin siya sa calculator. So, shift. So, press shift and then store. So, RCL. So, if you press shift, ang ma uh, babasa niya ang function is yung STO there. So, as you can see, that is store. So, shift store. Pili ka lang ng letter from A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, M. So, syempre sa A na lang tayo para mabilis. So, if you press AC here, Pag pinalabas mo yung alpha a and then press equals, lalabas yung value na na-store natin. Okay? So, we will use that value for uh, f of x. So, basically, ang g of negative x natin is 177 and that 177 will be substituted now to f of x. So, enter lang natin yung equation f of x. So, 5 alpha x cubed to here. Kung i cube natin, you can, uh, you can press shift x squared or just press this one. Okay? So, minus 2 alpha x squared okay, plus 7 alpha x minus 9. Okay? And then press CLC. And then what is x? So, x is nasa A natin siya na store. So, alpha a, and then press equal. So that is now the value of your f of g of negative 6. So that is 27,664,737. Okay, so madali lang no guys kung gagamit tayo ng calculator technique. So madali lang rin siya isolve if you're going to use the manual solving. So if my time, con so if my time constraints you can use the calculator technique. So, let's proceed now sa next problem natin. So, shift clear lang natin ulit para lang ma-restart yung value. So, press AC here. So, problem number 4. So, given f of x equals 3x squared plus 6x minus 4, find the value of f of f of f of f of f of f of 1. 
So, ilan yan? So, that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, basically, 6 times mong i-evaluate si f of 1. So, 6 times din tayo mag si CALC. So, input lang natin yung function. So, 3 alpha x squared plus 6 alpha x minus 4. So, CALC, what is x? So, that is 1. Okay. CLC ulit, so that's just the first trial. That's the first function. So, next is, so CLC ulit, and then input mo dito yung answer kanina. So, press answer equal. So, that's the second function. And then press calc ulit, and then answer equal. So, that's the third. And then press calc ulit, and then press answer here. That's the fourth. And press calc here. And then... Uh, just press answer here. Okay, that's 5. And then CLC ulit. And then press answer here. That is 6. Okay, so 1.967 times 10 raised to 39. Okay, so sobrang laki ng value. So if you're going to solve this manually, so matagal mo siyang masasolve. So ganun, ganun yung technique natin when using the calculator techniques. So, in this next problem, guys, as you can observe, we have four equations and four unknown uh, problem. So, pag pumunta tayo ng mode and then equation, we can see here that hanggang tatlong variables lang tayo. So, uh, nag-device ako ng way or calculator technique para masolve natin yung four equations uh, for unknown using the calculator. Pero yung basis niya is manual solution pa din. Okay? But, mas madali siya kung gagamitin mo yung method na to using the calculator. So, punta muna tayo sa okay, mode computation muna tayo. And then, first is, kuha ka ng isang variable and then in terms mo siya sa other variable. For example, yung 7x plus 9y minus z minus w equals 52. Pwede mo siyang gawing 7x plus 9y minus z equals w plus 52. So, nilipat lang natin sa right side yung w. So, huwag natin gagalawin yung constant. Okay lang siya doon. And then, i-store natin lahat ng coefficient ng equation na na-transpose natin yung isang variable. So, store natin yung values of the coefficient of that equation. So, for x, so 7, so shift store, lagay lang natin sa a. Okay? So, yung uh, y, so that's 9, so shift store b. Okay? And then, yung negative say, negative 1 yung coefficient niya. So, lagay natin sa shift store C. Okay, and then yung constant, lagay natin sa D. So, that's 52. So, shift uh, store and then D. Okay. Okay, so once you uh, stored all those coefficients, so, punta ka na sa mode equation. So, 5 and then press mo yung number 2. So, first, first equation is 5x plus 4y minus 2z plus 4w equals 5. So, coefficient ng x is 5. And then, plus, tingnan mo ngayon yung coefficient ng w dun sa first equation mo. So, focus ka muna sa first equation. So, that's 4. So, 4. And then, alpha a. Yung na-store natin kanina. So, just follow this procedure. So, equals lang natin. And then, for y, that is 4. So, 4 plus, coefficient ng w. So, that is 4. And then, alpha b. So, yung b naman tayo. So, sa b naka-assign kay y. So, for C, you have negative 2 plus coefficient of W in that equation. First equation is 4 and then alpha C. So, for the constant, that is 5 plus 4 alpha D. Okay, so for notice 4 is a constant coefficient of W in that first equation. So, equals lang natin. And then, second equation, so 13 plus, tingnan mo naman ngayon kung ano yung coefficient ng W dun sa second equation. So, that's negative 2. Times, of course, si A yung naka-assign kay X. Okay, and then negative 6 plus coefficient ni W in the second equation, negative 2. And then alpha B. Okay, tuloy-tuloy na yun. So negative 12 plus negative 2 alpha C. Okay, tuloy-tuloy na. You have here 11 plus negative 2 alpha D. 
Okay, saan so, galing yung negative 2 sa coefficient ni W dun sa second equation kung saan ka nakafocus. Okay, so equals lang. So third equation na tayo, so 8 plus, tingnan mo ngayon kung ano yung coefficient ni W dyan sa third equation. So negative 5, so alpha A. And then, so for the Y, so negative 15, okay, plus, okay, negative 5, alpha B. And then, next, for Z, so negative 5 plus coefficient of W in the third equation is negative 5, alpha. So, CC yung naka-assign sa kanya. So, equals lang. And then, for the constant, that is 13 plus negative 5, alpha B. Okay, equals lang natin. So, makukuha natin dyan is the value for, okay, that is the value for X. Okay, so take note natin. Equals natin, that is y. So, the value for y is 217 over 114. Equals natin. So, that's the value for z. So, that is 725 over 171. Okay. And then, store natin lahat ng values na yun, yung mga answers. So, mode computation lang tayo. So, first, so 841 over 1. K okay, over 171 for so shift store A. Okay? And then for Y, so that is 217 divided by 114, shift store B. And then 725, okay, over 171, and then shift store C. Okay? And then pili ka lang ng kahit anong equation dyan. So, pili na lang natin yung first equation. So, 5, alpha A na ngayon siya kasi may value ka na ng x which is na-store mo sa A. 5 plus 4, so si y naka-store sa B. And then, minus 2, z nasa C siya. And then, plus 4, yung w is unknown pa rin. Okay? So, x, y, z lang yung na-solve natin kanina. So, alpha, so press lang yung x. Okay? So, x is for uh, w, and then alpha equals 5, and mag-shift solve lang tayo. So, press shift and solve. Okay, equals, 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 equals lang. Okay, so negative 4.681. So, try natin maging ano siya, no? try natin, ayan, okay, naging fraction din siya. So, so, that is the value for W. Okay, so that's how you solve A4 equation for unknown problem. So, you have the options. Uh, if you are, so if you are confused sa gantong method, pwede mong gawing three equations muna siya. And then, you use the uh, mode equation. And then, number two. So, ang ginawa ko kasi guys is recta sa calculator lahat. So, wala nang transposition na nangyari, wala nang simplification na nangyari to save more time. So, ang ginawa lang natin, nag-transpose lang tayo ng W and then uh, kinawa lang natin yung method. So, basically, ang method ko is derived pa rin from the manual solution. So, mas maintindihan nyo yung calculator technique if you know how to solve this manually. So, I hope that you have learned from this, guys. Now, it's good to be back here on YouTube after ilang months na walang upload. So, I hope to upload more videos uh, like this in the future so thank you guys again for supporting this channel and uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button and then the notification bell so that you'll get notified on future videos such as this one okay thank you guys again and see you on my next video Bye bye